Now Shelby pings one out to the far side to Sam Maxima, who drags it forwards, running with it towards the penalty area. Sam Maxima still going from the goal to dangerous ball across the face of the Villa goal, but no one there able to get a touch. Richie at the back post coming in, probably closest. Now Shelby's pinched it back, well played Shelby and found Joel Linton on the left, Joel Linton only Mings to beat, he sidesteps him, Joel Linton oh, couldn't get the shot off, great recovery by Aston Villa, it's a corner and it was Courtney Hawes who was dispossessed by Shelby and then Joel Linton had a bit of space and he got away the first time but just couldn't get the shot off because Mings recovered. That's with Almiron who's on the left looking for Matt Ritchie who's got the ball just outside the box and gone for goal with a right footed shot low down that uh, Ian Nealand had to save Carroll brings the ball down from the throw and passes it into Gale in the box Dwight Gale has scored moments after coming on he has got a goal now and Andy Carroll set it up a throw down the right Carroll brought it down beautifully and Gale just made a run off in between defenders they didn't pick him up couple of touches into the area right footed across Nealand and into the bottom left corner of the Aston Villa goal and after 69 minutes it's Newcastle United 1 Aston Villa nil and just after coming on Dwight Gale opens the scoring and Almer on there it's into the near post area and it's gone in it's gone through players and Aston Villa have equalized and I think it's Ahmed El Mohamedi the substitute who is claiming the final touch uh, Newcastle's lead is cancelled out seven minutes to go Newcastle United 1 Aston Villa 1